7.3 liter turbo diesel motor, uh, camshaft position sensor. If you've been having trouble with your truck randomly cutting off, this is probably it. First, you just pull this clip straight back. Then you need to go ahead and locate your 10 millimeter. Um, I'm using a deep socket with like a two or three inch extension. Turns out just about right to get access in there. Go ahead and grab this connector and I tuck it on the other side of the belt. That way it stays out of the way. Did you find it, Kenny? Yeah, I got it. Hey, Gar. Yeah. Kenny found it. It's on the bottom somewhere. But they put that thing where you had to take stuff off to get it on. Uh huh. And it, it, it was like $600 labor. To put a starter on. You know, with muzzle loader and a bow, not, not a rifle. I might tell a muzzle loader. Yeah. <laughs> You could tell a muzzle loader in a bow, you know. And uh, he, he won't know if you hunt it for rifle or not, you know. But yeah, that spot we have over at 111 acres, he was trying to keep us out there. And they just cut all that out last year. Man, it looks nice this year. <laughs> looks old, primed up for some deer. Yeah, old Cabin over there, old Cab Cabin Price. He come down the last year with his stand and put it right where I was at, you know. You know, and that's, that divides his property and his property, right? Uh-huh. And uh, so I went over and talked to him. And I said, Who, said whose stand is that? You know, because he's over cutting soybeans. He said, it's mine. I said, well, you put it right now, I just wanted to show you exactly where this was on the truck. I'm laying on my back underneath of it, and this is right above the crank pulley right here. Pretty easy to get to. The inspector went clean the chimney up there today, or no, inspected the chimney. And well, the inspector went Wednesday, so he, he never he never texted me or emailed me his address, right? Uh huh. And then he called me. I said, "Well, you know, we do it today." I said, "Now, now, now, text me your address." So never did. I even, I texted him last night. Said, "Hey, I don't have your address." Called him this morning, didn't answer his phone. I said, I ain't even going to do it now. You know? <laughs> yep. And he texted me and said, well, it was the 7004 number. And, you know, you can't text to that number. And I didn't call him on that number. And he should have got been able to tell that on his phone, so he didn't text me at all. So I just told him that, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. Just takes a little elbow grease, wiggling it back and forth, and it'll slide right in. Uh, there's not any exact orientation that you have to worry about for alignment or anything. As long as the 10 millimeter goes back in the hole, it's going to be aligned properly, and it's going to work. And, and, and you know, I texted him last, text him last night, and everything. He should have knew he couldn't text to that landline. And uh, cause I have my home number hooked to it, but my home number don't do nothing. I never use it. You know, it just happens to be on there. And on my card, it was on the card, so he called the card, and that's what number he called. And uh, and I thought that was it. That's why I, I texted. I said, I said, text me to this number. You know, I'm calling you. Right? Then he never texted me. He never called. You know, people check their phones. I knew that going well. Yeah, you, know, you pick it up and look at it once in a while. Uh huh. And one reason is a pre pad chimney, so really, after you inspect it, there's nothing you're going to do on it. There's nothing going to be wrong with it. So, made out of metal. Well, that concludes the repair on the 73 Power Stroke Diesel. Again, the normal symptoms of this is randomly it'll cut off and then it'll start right back up and drive again. So if that's your problem, this is probably the issue. I can't do it or I ain't interested. I didn't hear nothing back from them. Mm. The plumber they use on 